we'll remind ourselves of squares and cubes and then we'll look at the squares and cubes of fractions. If we have 5 squared, it means 5 multiplied by itself. And the answer to that is 25. If we have 6 cubed, that means 6 multiplied by itself three times, and so you get 260. And so with fractions, you're going to have no different story. If you have 3 quarters squared, that means 3 quarters multiplied by 3 quarters, and we know how to multiply fractions, so we'll get 9 over 16. Um, and if we had 2 fifths cubed, it's just going to mean 2 fifths multiplied by itself 3 times. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So very easy, just a couple of quick things to watch out for. There's a difference between what we have here, where we say 2 fifths cubed, and say if we had 2 over 5 cubed. Can you see, in this one it's the whole 2 fifths that gets cubed, whereas here it's just the 5 that gets cubed. So here what you'll have is 2 over 5 times 5 times 5. It's just the 5 that's getting cubed, so it'll be 2 over 125. And the only other small thing to note is if we've got a mixed number and we have to square or cube it, the easiest thing to do is simply to turn it into an improper fraction and then do your squaring or cubing that you need to do. Like that. Although you'll obviously be able to use a calculator for any really big or complicated squares and cubes, uh, you will actually find it very useful if you learn these ones, these basic ones, off by heart. So I suggest you write these down, all the squares from 1 to 12, all the cubes from 1 to 6, and actually learn them off by heart. It really will help you a lot as you progress through the next couple of years.